This is a Fox News alert and a very strange story. The Pentagon, as you may have heard, is now tracking a very high altitude Chinese spy balloon over the nor northern United States. Apparently, it's over Montana right now. You're seeing photographs of that balloon on your screen. The Pentagon has decided for some reason not to shoot down the balloon, even though they say it's flying over some, quote, sensitive sites. So there are intercontinental ballistic missile silos in that area. What is this? Joining us now is Jamil Jaffer from the National Security Institute. Um, Jamil, thanks so much for coming on. This, you know, presidents make a lot of complicated decisions. This doesn't seem complicated. There's a Chinese spy balloon. Why not shoot it down? What do you think is happening here? Yeah, it's a great question, Tucker. You know, what's really interesting about this incident is that the Defense Department has made clear that this isn't the first time that we've seen Chinese spy balloons over U.S. territory in the past. What's interesting about this particular incident is the fact that we've called it out, we've made it public, and that they actually froze the airspace over Billings, Montana, and put planes up thinking about taking the shot. Now, why they didn't take the shot, why they didn't take it down, hard to know, Tucker. But it's worth noting, back in 2001, the Chinese forced down an American spy plane on Hainan Island kidnapped U.S. airmen and airwomen for a number of days and stole a bunch of surveillance assets off that plane. Now, that was over almost two decades ago. So you, you, you almost answered my question. Do you think if the, the American Pentagon floated a spy balloon over Chinese missile bases that Chairman Xi would say, you know, I'm, just, I'm not really sure how to respond. Maybe we should just let it keep floating. Yeah, look, I think that's highly unlikely. I mean, you saw Nancy Pelosi went to Taiwan uh, just a few months back, and Kevin McCarthy is going to uh, Taiwan shortly, and the Chinese were threatening to shoot down Nancy Pelosi's plane. So, you know, uh, it's clear that the Chinese would take action. It's surprising that we're not. I, you know, you want to be as fair as you can in situations like this because there's so much we don't know, but and you're tempted to leap the conclusion these people are completely impotent, but is, could there be a good reason for not shooting it down? Well, you know, you could say that they wanted to see where it's going to go, what it's trying to track. Is it looking at our ICBMs? Is it looking at something else? They may be collecting information off of it, too. So there's a possibility there are good reasons for not shooting it down. But it, uh, it is odd that you would announce it, make it clear that you've seen it, and then not take action. Well, that's exactly right. It's such a smart observation. I appreciate it. Jamil Jaffer, thank you so much. Thanks, Tucker. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.